Hello, this is Mr. Atherall. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about Poppies by Jane Weir. Um, so, this is clearly a, a poem about war. Jane Weir is a contemporary poet, poet that is still alive. So she's talking about the, the, the difficulty of people left behind when their, their, their children or their family go to war. Contextually, this is something that that, that happens regularly for, for parents of people in the army. And so she is, she is capturing that, that difficulty and that maybe difference of feeling that parents have about going to war as how their, their, their children might feel. Certainly in this poem, the son is kind of excited by this opportunity to go and serve his country, whereas the mother is very, very apprehensive. And there is, a, there is, a, there is an effort by Jane Weir to, ca to capture that emotion through her poem. So, just going to talk you through three quotes that I would remember in terms of, in terms of writing about this poem. Um, the first, I think, is, is, is one in the second stanza, which says, play it being Eskimos. So, so it's a nice one to remember. And there's a, there's a deliberate tenderness to this line. There's enjambment used where the player and then the, the being Eskimos flows from one line to the next. And, and Weir does this a few times where the, the, the flow of emotion, the flow of the mother's love towards the child is shown through the structural choice of enjambment. And it's a very tender image where they rub noses together, quite a childish image, uh, a, a mother reaching out and, and trying to care for her son, although he is not responsive to this. She wants this. She wants this emotional connection. She wants this warmth. But he has grown older. And part of that growing older is the fact that he's going to fight at war. So this image is something that, that, that she reaches towards, but he doesn't. He, he doesn't respond to this. It's, it's beyond his age to, to respond to this in the way that she hopes. Um, later on, she, he, he, in the poem, in the, in the third stanza, he's gone to war. And she goes up to his bedroom, and the line is, released a songbird from its cage. So this, this is clearly imagery, um, um, symbolic of her having to let go of her son to emotionally say, he's, he's, he's gone to war, and I need to, I need to accept that fact. Now, as the poem comes to an end, there's, there's some references that are ambiguous about whether the son is alive or not, whether he ever returns from war. And so that, that release could also be a release into, into death, perhaps, um, that she is letting him go. Songbird, really positive imagery to, to link with the sun from its cage. As a child, you want to protect, and you protect by putting a cage around something, but she has to stop caging him. And her, her mother's love and her care is perhaps the symbol that the right, that Weir is going for in terms of the cage image. Okay. Um, the last, last quote I think would be good to remember is, is, is right at the end of the poem. Again, in German, is used, and again, there's that tenderness in that mother's love, hoping to hear your playground voice. So playground voice, that is clearly a, a, a child's voice, and he's not a child that's gone to war, but she is, is, is desperate to go back in time, perhaps because he's not alive anymore, perhaps because he's still at war, perhaps because she longs for that day when he was a child still, when life was simple, and I'm your mother and I care for you. That, that relationship has, has disappeared. And so she is hoping to hear. We've got the alliteration and we've got the enjambment, we've got this flow of emotion. Both of those, both of those devices are used to emphasize that flow, that, that unstoppable mother's love, hoping to hear your playground voice. But that hope is, 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 is not one that's, that's going to happen. She's not gonna be able to wind back time and know him again as a child. Hope that's been helpful in thinking about poppies. There we go.